In this example, we're told that a brush is being used to scrub a wall, and the brush is pressed against the wall with a force of 18 newtons. And the coefficient of static friction between the brush and the wall is 0.6. We're told to find the sideways force parallel to the wall that we need to slide the brush across the wall. Now, if that's a little bit confusing, you can see what's going on better with a diagram. I'll draw a perspective view. Here's the wall, and here's the brush. And I'll try to make it look 3D here. So this brush is being pressed against the wall. So here's force F, and that force is perpendicular to that wall. And then the normal force will be, will be back here behind the wall, pushing back out. So there's two forces here that we need to think about. One is the force F that we're pushing the force against the wall with. And the other is the sideways force here, which we use to slide the brush across the wall. And, that, and that's what we're trying to find. So I'll call that, we need to distinguish these. So I'll call one of them F1 and one of them F2. F2 is what we're trying to find find the sideways force parallel to the wall that is needed to slide the brush across the wall. Well, if we're sliding the brush across the wall, then we're have to, having to overcome the force of friction, which is opposite that. So we need to find the force of friction. And that should be easy because we can just use this equation, mu in. Now, what is in? This is where a good diagram helps. You, you can see from the diagram that N, the force of the wall pushing back on the brush, is equal to F1 here, the force that we're pushing the brush against the wall with. This is an, an example of a problem in which the normal force N is not equal to Mg. In this case, N is equal to F1. And F1, we're told, is 18 newtons. So this force F1 here... 18 newtons, that's what I'll use for the normal force, because the normal force has to be the same as that. If you can see in the diagram, if this force were bigger than the normal force, the brush would be smashing through the wall. If the normal force were bigger than F1, then the brush would be accelerating away from the wall. And neither of those is the case. If you're scrubbing the wall, the brush is right against the wall. So this force here has to equal in. So our answer is just mu times n, and we know mu is 0.6, and we know n is equal to F1, which is 18 newtons. And so that's it. Multiply 0.6 times 18, you get 10.8 newtons, and you're done. That's the force you need to exert sideways this way to overcome the friction. What we just found is the force of friction to overcome that force, we need a force F2 equal to that, 10.8 newtons. So 10.8 newtons is our answer.